Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Canva and TeacherMade to create online activities for your students. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm using Canva.com and Canva has a great gallery of worksheet templates and other education templates available. You see lesson plans, certificates, bookmarks, schedules, even classroom decor kits. I've chosen here the worksheet templates and you can see there's math, English, social studies categories there I could also refine. Or I can just scroll through and take a look at some of the options in here. So let's say I want to pick this one here, writing and citing work. So let's use that template. And when I use this template here, I can go in and edit any part of it that I want. Now, this one here is designed to help students analyze some, some writing. But over here on the left-hand side, you'll see the suggestions for similar style worksheets that you could also select. There's an art worksheet, virtual museums, lots of different templates available. Let's say I like this one, and I'm just going to call it now Writing and Citing Work. Or writing and citing sources. And I'm going to now download this. And I'll download it as a PDF. Now, if I wanted to just print it out and give it to my students, I could do that. But I want to turn this into an online activity. So I'm going to turn it into an online activity by using TeacherMade. And you can use TeacherMade.com for free. And I'm going to create a new worksheet. And when I create the new worksheet, what I'm going to do is upload this PDF of my writing and citing sources template. So let's just call this one citing our work or citing our sources. Put a little description here. Read the article I shared with the class. then use this template for analysis. And so I'm now going to upload this PDF by just dragging and dropping it up there. You can also do a manual upload by picking a file. And I've now selected this one. Let's say make my file. And here I can now put in some short answer or open response spaces for students to write in. And so I'm just going to use that open response again. And I'll put that in each one of these places where the worksheet asks students to respond or write in some information. So I'll do all those right there. And we'll do one more right here. Great. So now I have all those spaces for students to write in. And I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And now I'm going to create an assignment. And it's going to be called Citing Our Sources. I'm going to use the teacher made delivery system. You can see there we also have Google Classroom, Canvas, and Schoology as options. And I have a more detailed video about using TeacherMade for assignments linked up down below there. But let's go ahead and click Next. And my students are going to use a Google account. And I'll hit Next again. And here I'll set up scoring. I'm going to say None. I'll release scores when I return the work. And I'm going to score and correct answers on individual items. And I'll do it as a percentage. And here I'm going to turn off the option for students to, to create their own text boxes and the drawing tools. I'm also going to turn off the options for inserting images or recording audio for this particular activity. Now there may be times you want to have students record audio, but in this case I don't want them to do that. So let's hit save. And now I can share it to Google Classroom or just give students that link that you see right there. 
I could put that link in an email. I could put it into any learning management system that I want to use besides Google Classroom. And let's see how my student will now view this. So my student will have that link. He or she will sign in with their Google account. In this case, Mason is going to take the assignment. And he'll see this worksheet and he can write in his responses. And he can write some more. When he's done, he can just click I'm done and submit that worksheet. And then as the instructor, as the teacher, I'll be able to see that he has submitted it right there on that same page where I created the assignment. Now I'll go back to Canva where you can find all kinds of other templates for converting into online activities. Here's one about long, longer, longest. Let's take a look at that one. Use that template. And again, you can modify any aspect of these. And I can download this one, again, as a PDF, and just repeat that process right there in TeacherMade that I just used for the citing of sources. You can see, again, all kinds of other worksheet templates, including this nice social studies one for, an, for a final exam, or science worksheets and art worksheets, and all kinds of fun worksheets that you can then convert into online activities by using TeacherMade. So that's how you can turn a template from Canva into an online activity in TeacherMade. As always, more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe.